Hello, everyone, and welcome to the newest episode of The Wall, and it's my hands again. And today, we are not talking about toys. Oh, no. No figurines, no action figures. We are talking about the late 1990s here today, where, well, if you guys remember, if any of you remember back then as a kid, everyone had Pokemon. Pokemon Blue. I have Pokemon Blue. It's my copy. Game Boy Color. And actually, guys, we are not talking about the Game Boy today. Oh, no, 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 no. We are talking about something a little different. A rival to the Game Boy Color, the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Because it's in color. Ooh. I actually, I have I have one of these. I had one of these when I was a kid. I love this thing more than my Game Boy. Because I had games I preferred. Uh, got the names. Goes to show how old this is. That store no longer exists for only sixty nine ninety nine, and this thing is by SNK. We also had the Neo Geo, which was like six hundred bucks, and you could actually own arcade games, for real. Let's see, we've got nothing exciting there. Ocean blue color, yada yada. Anyway, on the back, put color in your life and arcade power in your hand with. Three exclamation points. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. SNK Makers of History. Number one, vid video arcade system. And that's very true because it was the only one. Focus. Eh. Brings portable arcade power to a color handheld. Neo Geo Pocket Color 16 bit CPU generates unbelievable graphics and superior gameplay. Yeah! 16 bits, amazing. Of course, Game Boy was actually. Eight, if I remember correctly. Loads of awesome games to challenge and entertain everyone of all ages. Pack your pocket for infinite fun and take anywhere. Get power back. Three more explanation points. And what we've got here, totally realistic baseball game. A, some kind of puzzle type game. And, and what this thing is known for, uh, SNK is known for, a million fighting games. Let's see, Ocean Blue, for information, call, yada yada, probably no longer ex works, important, because this company went defunct and kind of came back with new owners who kind of bought the rights to everything, and been slowly putting out batteries included. Well, that's a shocker. As a result of, blah, 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 sad on you not to three, GS, wait, hold on, hold on, that's really small, I can't, you can't even read it, it's so blurry, it's like so small and blurry right that you can't even read GS's. CE, SNK is registered trademark of SNK Corporation, near Geo Pocket, and Geo Pocket, the trademark. Now, here we go. Display up to 146 simultaneous colors, reflecting TFT format LCD, allows playing in both bright and dim lights. Of course, I have to have this thing lit up here. I have a, a light eh, over there, so you can actually can see the screen. Uh, up to 40 hours continuous play with on set of batteries. Actually, not bad. Considering the DS and like PSP and those have like five hours or something ridiculously small. So inside the package, guys, we have eh, eh, eh. Oh, come on, uh, some 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 stuff. Eh. Yeah, I'll leave that back there. So we've got books, and oh, first off, yes, it's my Neo Geo Pocket Color is not in the box right now. I'll do that later. What do we got here? Limited warranty. Blah, 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 blah. That's completely worthless. <coughs> Excuse me there. SNK Neo Geo Pocket Color Instruction Manual. Ooh. Wait for it. Watch this. Oh, it's amazing. Epilepsy warning. Please read before you need, before playing it. Ooh, epilepsy. What do we got? Anything exciting in here? Probably. Probably not because it's actually good English in here. Unlike some really knock. I'm like blah, 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 some knockoff systems out there. Blah blah blah. Request and use warning. Yada yada. All right. Here's where it gets exciting. It's in another language. And another. And another. I'm assuming Spanish, French, and Italian. Um. So anyway, guys, here it is. The Neo Geo Pocket Color. This is it. This is my baby. Nice. Nice. It serves me. It served me well, especially back in, actually in high school, where in some classes I was so bored to death I would literally take it out, and the kids around me would be like, they would just hear this. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I hope you can hear that, guys. But that that this this thing makes a clicking noise. I love this thing. 
And now on to the games I own. First game is actually already in there. It's Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure. And what else do we got going on here? Metal Slug, first mission. King of Fighters R2, round two. Yes, there's a W on there. My name is Will, because I have friends who also own this game. And we've got the match of the millennium, SNK versus Capcom. Nah, that's totally not going to focus. Anyway, before we move on and show quickly show off some games, let's show off the actual system itself. It's... I hope you guys can hear it. I have the volume way up. Maybe, maybe not. Oh man, lighting's terrible. Focus. Calendar. I know you guys can figure out what a calendar is. Alright, horoscope. What do we got? Yes, March 2nd, 1988. It's my birthday. Yeah, now you guys know how old I am. Alright, my money is 4 out of 5. Yeah, I wish. My health is 4 out of 5. Yeah, I agree with that one. Romance, 2 out of 5. <laughs> I even wish it was 2 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, guys. And my general, whatever the hell that means. I'm a general in the army or something? I don't know. It was three out of five. Back to menu. World time. London. It's 6.06 in London right now. Of course, yeah, that's, these are all wrong because I'm in New York and it says 106. In reality, it's 4.50, so I guess I never... I was too lazy to set the clock. Anyway. Alarm. Yeah, you can actually have this thing wake you up in the morning. Really exciting settings. You can... English or Japanese. That, that, that's basically all, <laughs> all the languages you can actually get, even though the manuals are in different languages. Different colors you can pick. I always pick blue because I have ocean blue. Okay. Set date and time. All right, you know, I don't care. Good enough. Things finished. All right, guys. Here we go. I'm going to quickly show off these games real quickly, but later I will do more videos of the wall where I'm playing these games longer than like two minutes each, so. Here we go, on to game number one. Sonic Pocket Adventure, which is the only game of here that I'm actually like halfway decent at. Because, well, if you guys watch me play Sonic Saturdays, I'm actually pretty beast at the Genesis Sonic games. Although, yeah, Sonic CD, I'm pretty crappy at that, which is the next let's play. Anyway, just go to continue. We've got Neo South Island, which is the usual green level. Secret Plant, yeah, it was like the Sonic 2 level. Cosmic Casino, it was like the next. This is like more like Sonic 2, I guess. Aquatic Relics, yeah. Sky Chase, Aerobase. Yeah, this is basically Sonic 2. Gigantic Angel, which is Metropolis. I hate that level. Uh, Last Utopia, which is the final boss, which is actually a little different. I'll just, I'll just quickly show off the first level for you guys, and here we go. Oh man, this is so weird looking through the viewfinder here. Eh. Eh, there's a light, a slight delay. Sorry, I'm usually not this crappy. Yeah, I want to make sure you guys can see this because what's the point otherwise? And when you take damage, you can't pick up your rings. Eh. Yeah, I really hope you guys can hear this because well, this is classic, good, different music, but definitely still classic sounding Sonic music. Of course, what do you expect being 16 bit? You would hope it's it sounds classic or old. Old. Alright, eh, get out of there. It's Coconuts. I think that's his name. That enemy. The the thing that throws coconuts at you. I don't know how. What a great. What a great. Ah, get out of there. Hey, let's do this. Oh, 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 I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, I can hear the, the siren going off outside. Ugh. It's pretty loud. And actually, every once in a while, I can hear the train horn, even though that's like several miles. Awesome. I can actually show you guys off real quickly the special stage of Sonic, this one, which I'm assuming is just like Sonic 2. But I, it's been a while. Yep, all right. It's just like Sonic 2. This is me terrible. Here we go, guys. Get 30 rings. You think I can do it? Probably not. Yeah. It's because there's a delay, although I've played this enough to know the ins and outs of these. Do do do. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I'm too shy. Anyway, guys, I think that's enough of this. I'll do a, I'll do a proper review of Sonic the, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog, Pocket Adventure next time. So, we are moving on to. I guess it's just one on top. I'm gonna do them all anyway. These are the four games I own for it. The Match of the Millennium. 
No. No. Well, it's rated T for teen. That's 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 probably what you could make out. That's about it. Whoops. Uh, move the camera. And there we go. Here we go, guys. I'll do one quick battle of this. King of Fighters and Metal Slug, which I am terrible at that game. So that would be interesting when I actually go to review that I'll actually have to practice. Oh, look, you can actually kind of... Ooh, my light. That other light. Okay, anyway. Here we go. Let's just Torny, Tag, Average. All right, where's my usual guy, Ryo? He's basically, um... What's his name? The Hadouken guy. If I can actually do the Hadouken, we'll see. Who are you? You're doomed! And they always say crap like that. Okay. Hello! Back, forward. Punch! My best one, you press back and B, and you do a kick. You think you go back. Oh, a throw! Hello! How do you do the Hadouken? No. Eh. That's right. Down, left, there we go. See? Hadouken! Or Kamehameha! Or, or, or something. Alright, I'm not terrible at this game. Of course, it's just going to go downhill from here. Well, I say go downhill from Sonic. Anyway, good enough. Just doing a quick review of the few games I own of the system. And basically, if you guys like handhelds, old handheld systems, I recommend, I definitely recommend getting this because I'm sure they're somewhat cheap on eBay at this point. <sighs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Because this thing, well, although there was only ever 2 million ever made, and I actually have number 591,958. So, here we are on to, to King of Fighters. I was like, wait, what game was it again? Yes, King of Fighters. Team, don't care. Extra, I'm not even tell you things mean. Sure. Really? Those are my options. Ooh, a chick. Hell yeah. I don't know. Order select? Sure, that works for me. I'm only going to play like a minute of this. And sorry about the screen, guys. It's, it's a little scratched. Eh. I know, now I'm saying this. Like, oh, I have to have gone on to the third of four games. Now I now I say it. Wow, look at that. It's two same characters fighting each other. That's amusing. And I'm the blue guy. Eh. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, man, I should have turned off my phone. Ah, it's ringing. La, la, la. Come on, come on. There we go. Goodbye. Come on, come on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Get out of here, Terry. Woohoo. Toss. Kick. Uh -huh. Punch. Punch. And kick. Boom. How do you switch characters? That's a quick... Oh, victory is mine. Pfft. Don't care. How do you switch characters? You can't? You can't switch? Options? That pauses it. Alright, whatever. That is King of Fighters round two. Again, I will do a proper review of that game, and hopefully we'll see about medals. Come on. Yeah. These cases here are rather useless because... um, Because they... They can be a pain. Sometimes they literally get stuck in there and they, they'll never want to come out. So, boop, put it in there, and off we go. Do, 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 do. Neo Geo Pocket SNK. And it doesn't say actually color on there, even though color there. Oh, this is going to be really bad because I'm normally bad at this game looking through a viewfinder. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares about the story. You're a one-man army, and you kill things. Ow. Eh. Shoot! Alright, A is to shoot. B is to jump. Look up. Just shoot up. Ow. I'm so gonna die, like, in two seconds, aren't I? Hello! Oh, yeah, in this game, you save old men. I'm not even kidding. That's like the one thing I actually remem remember about this game. Oh, helicopter. Oh, that's right, I only have limited ammo. That kind of sucks. Eh. There's the old man. Boom, you saved him. And he just randomly disappears. 
All right, I think I saved him. I hope. Not like it really matters. Eh. No. Eh, there we go. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, let's see. Running. I guess, you know what? That's it. I guess that's really about it for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I mean, those are the four games I own. The system off, the system settings. You can actually use it as an alarm, which is a plus. Sort of. Not really. And, oh, yeah, it takes two AA batteries. And uh, I guess that's about about it for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Uh, if you like fighters, I recommend having this if you've got the money. We'll see. You know, whatever. What else we got? I mean, King of Fighters. I mean, if you guys like Sonic, right? If you guys just like old owning old video game consoles or handhelds, this is definitely a plus because I'm pretty sure it's not too expensive overall. Uh, there's the box. This is Ocean. I have the Ocean Blue. It came in other various colors. This is kind of like Army Blue-ish. I don't, I don't know. I found it kind of cool. That's why I got this specific one for all of seventy bucks, which actually is pretty good. This thing came out in ninety nine, ninety eight. Something like that. Oh, look, it was made in Japan. Who'd have thunk? Company from Japan. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this new, different episode of The Wall, because there's the wall in the back of the review of the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Next time, I will probably be moving on to showing off some of my video game collections of old systems. I have Atari 2600, 5200, and stuff like that. Anyway, so yeah, catch you all next time. This has been The Tomato. Bye-bye.